Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to the El Colossal Green event, the metal event. For those of you that it's your first time for with an El Colossal event, basically it's one of the craziest breeding events in the game. So, El Colossal, in this edition of El Colossal, almost all metal monsters in the game are available. It says almost because Forsaken Monsters, Mythic Monsters, and of course, the War Master is not available. So sorry, you cannot breed War Master Remtire. You still have to get him through his War Master dungeon. With that being said, there are two catches to the El Colossal event. The first one is this event only lasts for 24 hours. Okay, after 24 hours, the event is over. You can no longer have this like unlimited metal Monster Legends breeding. The second one is the breeding combinations are random. Or are they? Maybe they are top secrets. So don't waste another minute, put two metal monsters together in the breeding mountain and see what happens. So for this 24 hour period, you can pretty much breed almost any single metal legendary monster you want. Now the way it works, and just huge shout out to all the players that put effort, is that players are basically trying, put, trying out putting on two metal monsters together, and if they get the combination, then they post it for everyone to know. So we owe them a lot, okay? We owe them a lot for putting up the gems and the resources to be able to figure out the combinations so that everyone else that doesn't have all the gems could basically just breed the monsters easily. Now, one thing I do want to mention is we also have information on the new Legends Pass season coming soon. It starts in 23 hours. Well, 22.50. So it will be here on June 26, 10 a.m. Universal Time, okay? Universal Time is the important thing. Make sure to convert that to your time. So what this means is that for those of you players that have the current Legend Pass right now, this pass actually ends in 10 hours. So there is going to be a period of time where you will not have the Golden Legends Pass. So if you're going to try to participate in the Metal Legends, in the Metal Colossal event, do it now. Do it while you still have your Golden Legends Pass. If you don't have a pass, well then I guess it doesn't matter. But right now if you do have the pass, well you have, it's going to be less expensive for you. Because you can do, you have a reduced cost in your hatching time. So take advantage of that. Not to mention, you also have that fifth slot, right? You have this fifth premium hatchery right here. So you should have a 30% hatching boost and that premium slot. So I'll, I'll do like one or two combinations just to show you guys the way it works and what happens when it's a failure, even when you have the right combination and all of that. All right, so here are some of the combinations, some of the main ones. You have Talos, the Island Protectors, the Zanya. You have Synapticus, you have Timerion if you want to get them. So I would say those four are probably the main ones. So I'll have, I will have a link in the description to this website if you want. It's basically monsterlegends.fandom.wiki. But I'll have a link in the description if you're more of a visual person and you want to visually see the monsters. Like for example, if you want to quickly see, oh, how do I breed Zizzy? Oh, Timerion and Synapticus, got it. So there'll be a link to this description. But also, if you want to check out what, we, what normally everyone uses, it is basically this Google Doc, thanks to S2K, and I will also provide a link to their server if you want to join and be a part and help. So let's see what they say. So the breeding results, really there's only two main monsters that are worth, um, that they recommend, and that's Talos the Island Protector, which is like the strong attacker Talos, and Myrak the Team Rings monster starts the game off with a random positive status caster, has total blind, can remove positive effects, has denial, has... Um, blocking against getting controlled so good monster good team response but again it surprised me that that's like the best metal monster if only Santerion could be bred that would be awesome so let's see aside from that you could also get the other talosses for collection you can get um the vip for collection makugan positron for collection those are quest monsters these will also help you during the quest days and remember during quest days that is a really good opportunity to get a ton of bronze relic chests so it could be worth picking them up if you don't have yourself a really good monster. Personally, my Makugan has really helped me out during the during the quest days, and I only have it at level 100. Um, let's see, Zizania is also good for collection. That is an elite monster. Also, by the way, has the pierce mechanic. If you're not familiar with the pierce mechanic, basically you can pierce through positive effects. Doesn't matter if the enemy has evasion, you can still attack them. Doesn't matter if there's a Megaton monster in the game or a Tom monster, you can still attack whoever you want. Um, Avaricia, of course, has the highest gold production, 335. So if you don't care about having, about collecting metal monsters, and you just want, I need gold, gold production, then that is your monster to get. And then, other three monsters that are potentially worth getting, so Wang Zhou, you, if you guys have ever battled him, if you have two of him, it's quite menacing, but even one of him, he starts the game off, his status caster is a 50% stamina drain. So instead of having 140 stamina with the legendary monster, you start the game off with 70. 
So yeah, at the start of the battle, drains 50% of your stamina. By the way, if you have a Megaton monster, the Megaton monster actually absorbs that. So the Megaton monster loses all of its stamina. Timurion, it's just the OG metal monster from the team shop. Fantastic monster. Introduces to artifact, the cooldown activation, cooldown deactivation, skill mirror. Phenomenal monster in his era. And Synapticus also has a status caster shield. But again, really, like, if you are more competitive, my rec is really the main one to get. And in a, in a, in a era of Mythic Monsters, I would say, like, it doesn't really matter. Go for who you want. Go for who's ever going to make you happy. Be strategic about it to an extent. Um, the Mythic Monsters are not to be used as parents. Remember, this is a Legendary Breeding Event, not a Mythic Breeding Event. And so don't bother using the Mythics. And, of course, War Master Remtar, not available, not breedable. And here is, of course, every other monster and every other combination. So the reason every other combination is here, because for some of these monsters, you're going to need some of these other metal monsters. So just so you know, for future for future Colossal events, it's always two legendary monsters. Well, actually, sometimes you even use an epic monster. For example, that's an epic monster right there. So it's, it's good to, if you're anticipating a future Colossal event, it's good to start hatching some monsters you have maybe in your storage. So for example, if you need Metalhead and you have these two guys, then Metalhead is used to breed where is... Synapticus, Metalhead plus Superdan. So I I don't know who to go for. Um, well I guess since Myrak isn't there, I don't need to worry about that. But here, let's go ahead and exit out of this and let's go back into my game. So I am gonna click on breed and look what happens when you click on the little heart icon. Literally every metal monster is there now. It's like ah, what do I do? All right, I don't know if I have Quixote. I always thought it was light because of Rossi gun. I don't think I have a. Um, I have Synapticus, alright, so I think I see something I might want to try. Oh man, yeah, I don't have Quixote, and is his combination out? I don't think so. I don't think I saw it. Um, it's not out. Okay, so what I'm going to do, maybe rank up my Makugan, Zizania. Do I have Zizania? Remember, you can always look at your book. Always look at your Monstergram, and you can kind of figure out. Let's see, Legendary sort by metal you can figure out who you have who you don't have i don't have dad unit roxon i still left him in my storage poor roxon um i don't have actually i have a lot of cells for a ton of these monsters tank Garion is one that i want to collect personally so i am going to be looking at the combinations for when tank Garion is out yeah quixote is, is not there and Positron i don't even have oh my goodness i have less monsters than i thought i did what is wrong with me oh my gosh all right, with that being said, Synapticus, I can... Wait, I have a lot of Synapticus. I have too many Synapticus, I think. He's somewhere here. Synapticus, yeah, I remember I have a lot of Synapticus. All right, what I'm going to be doing is go to the Monster Vault and... Not the Monster Vault. I'm going to go here, click Breed, and I am going to do... Um, tell us the Island Protector. Would he be worth having a ranking up? See, it's like... Also, don't remember, we have a team race coming up, the Saya Mist team race, so don't clog up your hatchery. Like, yeah, it's cool that like you can get any legendary monster, but don't purposely clog up your hatchery. It is it is not worth it. Um, I'm, I'm just going to do Synapticus to get Zazania. I'm going to do Synapticus and Timerion. So you go to Breed, and you get your Synapticus wherever it's at. Where are you? Timerion? All right, Time Wizard, and let's find my Synapticus. There you are, Halo. So if you have the two metal monsters together, you click Breed, and notice I have 45, 40, 59, 57. So that is how you know it is a legendary monster a day and 22 hours. And of course, you, you're free to activate your fast breeding. All right, now again, keep in mind there's a team race. Now what I will say is that if you activate Camilla now, you'll have her for the first day of the team race, and then it'll take two days for her to recharge, and then you can use her for the latter half of the race. So that's something you can do. Or, or yeah, just kind of be smart about it, okay? Like, do you want to activate it now? Do you want to activate it later? If you are going after some legendary monsters, it would probably be to your advantage to activate it right now, and then hopefully you have the gems to speed up when you need it for the race. Maybe your team organizes and a certain select players utilize the Camilla right now. And then for the later half, other players use it. So just kind of be smart about it. But yeah, like you see, I got a legendary monster already. Well, sometimes you'll get a two-hour monster and it'll probably be a, a metal uncommon monster. That's totally fine. That just lets you know that you have the right combination. So this is basically all you need to know about the metal event. 
um i will try my best to update you guys whenever we have like a main a main monster combination out like my when my is out i'll post on the community tab when the other talos is out i'll post on the community tab but again you can always check the links in the description below those can help you out again huge shout out to all the players out there that help us and if you want to help actually um i am also going to post the link to the discord of skill to kill who basically organizes all of this val from hounds of justice basically runs the server so huge shout out to hounds so yeah guys if you want to help um all of the links will be in the description if you want to see the combinations so with that being said best of luck to all of you in the meadow el colossal events let me know in the comments below who are you going for and don't forget to participate in the legends pass giveaway so make sure to go back to the previous video i posted and comment on that video don't forget to comment rossi gun is better than hey man and remember to subscribe